What's up, family? Peace and blessings. This won't be a long video. I know I always say that, but I'm, I'm going to try to make this short. But uh, the weather hasn't been freezing cold. It hasn't been raining lately. So I'm just, you know, spending more time in nature. Just enjoying the nice weather we got. And uh, I remember I used to come here back when I was in like, I think like after high school, like eight years ago. Or somewhere around that time, eight, nine, seven years ago. And I remember that was when like I kind of had my first spiritual awakening. And uh, like I started reading my Bible more, or I actually started reading my Bible for like the first time. If I remember, yeah, one of the beginning stages of it. And a Bible verse hit me because it just hit me like right now, bro. I was like, bro, I gotta make a video to let you guys know. I believe this is in Romans chapter ten, verse seventeen. It says that so faith then come by hearing the word, right? And I remember I started reading my Bible, applying it to my life. Check this out, man. This is dope. But yeah, I started reading the Bible. And I started applying the word of God into my life. Now, of course, I was only reading for like maybe like 15 minutes a day. But I mean, that 15 minutes is better than zero. You know, it's better because most people's Bibles is collecting dust in their room. And mine was once too like that, you know, mine was like that too. So I started reading like 15 minutes a day and I started really applying the Bible to my life. Even though I was still, I was still living in the world, still slanging can't really say the actual what I was doing because I don't want to you know how these platforms are but you know so doing you know stuff like that but I would still apply everything I was reading to the Bible into my life uh especially so much on my phone <laughs> especially when it came to wisdom like I started really applying it you know how it says like you know seek wisdom more than you seek gold it says um if anyone lack wisdom ask God for it so I started praying God praying to God asking God for that um you know, and I was I had a business at the time, so I was really trying to apply God's word so I could be successful and so I could live for him. And let me tell you, man, now I understand why the Bible says in Luke chapter eight, verse I guess an 11 talks about the seed is a word of God. And that's really what the word of God is supposed to do in your life. I don't own any rights to the music in the background. I'm outside in public, so I don't own any rights. All right. I'm gonna make that very clear but anyways so it came by hearing the word of god like the seed bro like that's what the word of god is supposed to do and that seed is supposed to plant in your head your mind your soul your spirit right you're supposed to plant it in and you got to water that seed by taking action you know now i understand why the bible says faith without works is dead and i was doing that like i was taking action to what i wanted to accomplish in life i didn't just say i didn't just like hear the word hear the word right and just like just continue like ignoring it or like making it seem like it's not really changing my life now of course there are people who are who are hearers of the word and not doers and i didn't even know that verse at the time but back then i'm like bro like if i'm actually taking the energy to read this book like i want to actually apply it you know just like the other books that i read back in the past like i read those books and i applied it it's the same thing with the bible right so i slowly started planting seeds now i understand why Christ talked about this in Luke chapter 8, verse 11 to 15. He talked about how uh, there was a parable. It was uh, how the sower sows the word, uh, sows the seed, which is the word of God. And the devil comes and, and takes the seed that was planted in their hearts and he takes it out. Uh, and then there's people who, who are too in love with the world, material possessions and money and stuff like that. So they are not fruitful. And uh, talks about those who... Um, those who actually apply it into their life and they become fruitful. You can go look it up yourself. This is Luke chapter 8, verse 11, 15. And I just want to let you all know, man, like that Bible is going to transform your life, man. It's going to change your life. And it changed mine. It changed mine for the better by applying it into my life. You know, just like the scripture says, you don't want to deceive yourself by just being a hearer, not a doer. And uh, yeah, man, beautiful scenery, beautiful scenery, man, beautiful day. And the reason why I made this video, because I remember when I was, I would always go on this walk and I would always like meditate on the word, like everything that I just learned from the, on that on the time I was reading that Bible period. I didn't even know what meditating was. I had no idea what any of that stuff was. But like when I would go on these walks eight years ago, bro, I'll go on these walks and that all those Bible verses that I would read, like I would really like meditate on it, bro. Wow, wow, man, eight years ago, before I was baptized, 
before I came into the truth. And so that's how I was supposed to be. I was just a baby. I was crawling. You know, like my baby, right? My child, she's about to be three months old. She can't eat uh, meat. Okay, she'll spit it out. Just like a lot of baby Christians, when I'm giving them the meat, they spit it out because they're not ready for it. You're just ready for the milk. Eight years ago, I was just on the milk. I was just crawling. I was still, you know, learning. You know, even the Bible says, as newborn babes desire the milk that you will grow. So that's what it's all about, man. Growing, uh, being humble, because a lot of people, you know, once they come into the truth, once they start reading the Bible, you know, like a religious spirit jumps on them. They, then they start to act, uh, operate like a Pharisee, self-righteousness, uh, being arrogant, prideful. And uh, we all know, according to the Bible, God hates that in Proverbs chapter 8. But I don't want to make this too long. Just something that I learned on this walk that the seed is a word of God and you must be applying it to your life, having faith, because faith is that works is dead. And through that seed that's planted into you, through your soul, your spirit, your mind, your body, all that, right? It's supposed to transform your life. Now, are you gonna expect a transformation the next day? No, because when you plant a seed, right? Let me show you all something. This th these trees, all these trees, y'all be seeing out here, right? All these trees. All these shoes, right? Whether they're old, small, tall, they were just very small. They were very small. Some of them may, may have been a small, just as small as a mustard seed, right? They were super small, but in in time, within seasons, like I said, I'm this is eight years ago when I first started doing this, okay? And, and I'm gonna keep on growing too, just like these trees. That tree wasn't that tall before. It was probably oh, right there. It was probably this tall, and it's slow. Every all these seasons, the sun rained on it. God put the sun on it to make it to make it grow. He gave them the the, uh, the rain, it made it grow all the way up there, okay? And that's how you're like, like right now, a lot of you guys, you're like right, you're like right here. I'm gonna show you guys, it's just a root. You're just right, the camera's like kind of like, <laughs> all right, you're right here, okay, there you go. You're right there, okay? You applied the word of God, and if you keep on it, you know, you actually it's probably a bad idea because that, that tree has no leaves in it. <laughs> all right, let's just try this one. This one's a huge tree. Actually, let's just try this one. Let's just try this one right here, right? This one's huge. This one's probably been growing for like 20 plus years. Okay, so this big tree. A lot of y'all right now, y'all are like right there. All right, right, right there, somewhere around there. You know, if you keep walking with Christ 20, 30 years, man, you're going to be all the way up there. And that tree, that, 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 that tree, you're going to become fruitful. People are going to come, come into your life, and they're going to eat off of your tree. They're going to eat off of your, I'm not eating, I ain't no animal, but they're going to start eating off your tree. I'm real talk. This is real talk, bro. It's like eating off your tree. The lips of the righteous feed many. Okay, that's in the book of Proverbs. But man, make sure y'all reading the Bible. Apply it to your life. It could just be a scripture. Like I'm telling you, God prepared this path for me before I even knew it. Just like the Bible says that I've chosen you in the WAM before you were even on this earth. Love you guys so much. If you have already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video. It's Mark the Messenger. I'm out. Peace.